Hey everybody, we are back for another check on this beaver pond. A little chilly out this morning. I think it was like 25 degrees, 24, 23, I don't know. There's ice, ice on the pond, ice over here. Some of the smaller little sloughs that I walked by that have more rushes in them are actually locked up tight. Well, when I say tight, I mean they were covered in an entire sheet of ice. Um, which is nice because it gets you pumped up for ice fishing, but at the same time, now this weekend, it's going to be lows in the like mid-30s and highs in the 50s. So, ice fishing isn't coming as fast as I'd like because then I can shoot ice fishing and trapping videos. But regardless... So yesterday, we hammered the beaver, you guys. Had seven traps out, got six beaver. And only had six sprung traps. So this one over here, this is a big pond here. I got I got three sets along the shoreline. Yesterday, I caught two really big beaver in uh, two of those sets. And in fact, I took the third set and I turned it into a baited, or you know, like a, a caster mound style set since that worked so good. But we're going to run and check these traps first. Um, it's nice that the, the shoreline isn't totally frozen. And hopefully if I got a beaver or something, it happened last night. Let's do it. Okay. Here we go. All right. So you guys see right there. I, I'm, not looking for, I don't, I'm not looking for my trap, but I can already see a big blump floating in the water right there you guys you can already see a big lump floating in the water you guys right here that's a nice beaver too look at that guy out there that one's caught late last night because it's it's got some frost on it huh right. whoa <laughs> All right, you guys. Well, so this is my take on this, okay? There's a beaver right there. I looked down. The mud has been packed down, and my stick with my caster on it is gone. That tells me that another beaver came through here and messed with it. So we're gonna pull this one out of the trap. I'm not gonna do a well. I'm not gonna do a permanent reset on it. Another big beaver. My cable here comes. Oh yeah, big beaver, you guys. <laughs> Cable's back here. So it's kind of nice. The beaver actually can get up and out of the way here, you guys. A perfect head catch on this thing too. Look at that. Oh, perfect head catch. Look at that, huh? This goes to show using lure like this time of year, it can be just as effective as springtime. Um you know, as long as everything doesn't freeze up on you. I mean, that's a, that's a big beaver, you know, that's probably a blanket, I would say. Oh. Nice big beaver, you guys. There we go. Well, you guys, ugh, that's one beaver. Let's get down and check the next trap. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, you guys. There's that beaver hodge over there. 
beautiful sunrise coming up. <clears throat> well, here's my second set right here. See that guy? You guys watch me make that one. Nothing in that guy. Um, yeah, so we're just going to continue on down to the next one here. All right, you guys. So we had a big beaver here yesterday. And I can't... Oh, if I think that... See that? Right there. I think that's kind of... That's about where the trap is at. So I think there's a beaver in there. Wonder are we down oh, here? I'll fight through the brush. Oh gosh, okay. Okay. That's exactly what... Gosh, that's a big beaver, you guys. Holy crap. Huge beaver. The swans out there, I think they approve. Okay. It looks like a huge beaver, you guys. Um, I don't know. Huh. Just trying to see if things, does it look like anything came through here afterwards? It looks, well, it looks like it did. You know, this is all kind of messed up. Could have been from that other beaver, or from that beaver we caught out there. Who knows? You know? I'm going to break this up. It's supposed to get cold tonight again. I don't know how warm it's going to get today exactly. But I just want all this to be opened up. I guess it's a, it's a big beep, right? I thought it was going to be like a 60 pounder. Not as big as I thought. But it's, a, it's an adult. Right? Okay. One left beaver for these guys to worry about. Caught it late because it's covering nice, like the rest of them. Oh. Get this guy out of the trap here. Again, we can get a little better look at him. Nice and quiet out here in the mornings. It's nice. And you guys can actually hear what I'm talking about. smaller than the one we just caught over there okay this is still a you know a two-year-old beaver but it's smaller than the other one um if we were closer to the lodge i'm sure we'd be catching smaller ones i'm maybe i mean who knows but another nice beaver you guys oh you guys have got two big beaver anyway so that's about a two-year-old. That one's going to be a blanket. You can see it's definitely quite a bit bigger than this one. Well, you guys were back for a check on the lodge where they've been taking down so many trees. We've already taken eight beaver out of this lodge, you guys. Or out of this, between the two, anyway. Um, I checked two days ago. Nothing. I think we thinned them out pretty good. It's been cold here, so that, that isn't exactly helping a lot. But we're back today on the pond where I got the smaller beavers, and I wasn't really expecting, if I can see it, this stick has moved here. I can see my trap has sprung there, and I can see, you guys can probably see it too, right there. See that? That's the tail of a beaver. So I'm going to try to... Uh, without muddying up the water, which probably ain't gonna happen. Oh. Pull this guy in. There we go. Oh, you guys. Another small beaver, you guys. I would think there's another big beaver in here, 
but um he hasn't i mean i got a caster mound over here i got the other big beaver in i would think that if anything i would get him in that set for sure like 100 percent. there's been nothing no no activity at all you guys so i do got a channel set down there we'll go and check that one quick but uh i think we will clean them out all right you guys we're here for our final check on this beaver lodge Um, the beaver has thus out for smarter dust so far. I'm uh, going to come back here, catch him through the ice possibly. Or possibly not. Is that a Oh, you guys, I think, I think we got him. I thought I saw a log stick on water, but I think that's a beaver tail. I think that's a beaver tail, you guys. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you guys. You guys, I can't even make this stuff up. Check this, check this place a couple times. Haven't had nothing the last couple checks. Look at that, beaver tail. Look at that, beaver tail. I thought there's only two beaver in here. There must have been a third one. Wow, what are the chances, you guys? freaking sweet I love it man this is awesome gosh it almost looks like almost looks like um they mudded the house up again still maybe not I don't know you know what we're gonna pull these beaver out and I'm probably gonna reset these traps because I'm gonna do, do another two-day check on it so yeah let's do it well you guys um Hop right in. We're gonna hop right in here. Huh. What the heck? These beaver are outsmarting me for a couple days and then a double. I don't it doesn't make sense. And they're big beaver. Both of them are big beaver. What the heck? Yeah, I mean, that's a nice beaver, you guys. Oh my gosh. H stand is right there. Throw that up there, you guys, and then look at that. Oh, look at that, you guys. There's one big beaver right by the head, and then this one I stretched out the cable out here. Oh boy, oh boy, you guys, who doesn't like a double, especially when you're expecting zero, you guys, expecting zero, and I got double that you guys is awesome oh come on come on this guy like this so I don't lose my little wire there not like it matters because these beaver aren't going anywhere regardless there's my H stand right there and another beaver, you guys, right by the head. Three. Oh my gosh, double. Who doesn't like a double? Doubles on big beaver, you guys. That's just crazy. Four beaver in this lodge? That just doesn't make sense to me. Probably you guys either. I mean. Huh. You know what is also crazy, you guys? See that? Rat houses. There's rat houses up and down this pond too. Might try and do an open water video on them also. But for now, we're just gonna stick to the beeves. The birds and the beeves, you know what I'm saying? Oh my gosh, you guys. Double. Freaking Hammer City, boys. Hammer City. All right, you guys, H stand is on there. H stand is on there, and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put it back in the run, as is. I mean, exactly what it was before. Let's see here, I get, yeah, it's right where it was before, you guys. We're just gonna give her 
We're just gonna give her heck here boys. Put that right down the center of the run and I mean pray for another miracle. They're the best kind. Trapping miracles. Mmm. Like that. Something about that I didn't like. Okay, okay. There we go. There we go. Well, there you go, you guys. We got a double on Big Beaver. I brought a, I brought a stake down here, and I'm just gonna have to leave it down here until I pull these traps. <sighs> Crazy, you guys. Is that? Oh, you guys. Hey. Oh, he's not. I thought this beaver was missing a leg. It's just tucked up by his head. Yo, what is up, everybody? We're back to where the beavers have pummeled the oak trees for yet another check. Um, I went to two-day checks on this place now because I've caught four big beaver out of one pond and five beaver out of this other pond here. Um, homeowner said that they have still seen, you know, at least a beaver swimming in the big pond over here. So I freshened up my sets here with some brand new, a brand new jar of the beer man beaver lure. Right there, you guys. Stuff works like a charm. Anyway, freshened all my setups, sets up. Um, the one thing that's good is it hasn't been freezing. Um, the last, you know, whatever four or five days it freezes at night so my 330s become operate unoperational or unreachable is the other problem so another unfortunate thing you guys well you guys see we're in blaze orange deer season here in minnesota you legally have to have blaze orange on when you're trapping um but someone stole my tripod you guys out of the back of my truck it was like a ghetto tripod like i totally like put it together with zip ties and stuff because my other one broke so I'm gonna have to go to the GoPro for checking these traps if I got a beaver. Um, I am gonna order another tripod though, you guys, so I can do some of that first person stuff. Anyway, let's uh, let's go and see if we can find some beeves. Well, you guys, I ran the big lodge here and there was nothing in any of those sets after a two day set. You know, I got that one small one out of there. Um, there's a trail that connects these two ponds. I'm thinking that the other big beaver that's probably in here was caught across the other side because I have all the runs covered. There's no activity at all. But let's hop to the other side over here and hoping that maybe we connect on another beaver or two over here. I'm headed out rifle hunting here after I'm done checking these traps. Did shoot a nice doe this morning. My daughter shot a nice buck yesterday morning, her first first deer ever. Congratulations to her. Pow pow. Girl power. Um walking down here. Can't see my trap here, guys. But I'm not seeing a big pump of fur floating here either. Um Oh, hey, look at that, right there. See it right in the center of the thing? It's a beaver, and it's a small one. Okay, so that's a small beaver we've got out of here now. Cool. All right, well, pull them out. All right, you guys. So, there's a little beave over there. Somewhere around here, I got the wire. There's my cable. Get those beaver out of the way. A small beaver on this side. Okay. All right, you guys. Small beaver. Yeah, well, then that's a that's a sign. Glad this kind of unfroze. You know, that just goes to show that there's still a few beaver in this pond. Even though we caught four blankets out of here already. This uh, pond hasn't been trapped in about 100 years, 100,000 million years and stuff. You know, forever. Mm. Right. Got the 
little beave, a little beave action right there, you guys. You can go right there. You guys have seen me do this a, just a, a few times now, you know. This, how I'm setting this trap. I'll do it one more time here because it's like, so easy, you guys, it is so easy. Just shoving the sticks way down the ground like I've been doing. Sticks are way down the ground. Trap is half submerged like so. There we go, you guys, it's literally about that easy, you know. Like I said I've been adding, adding stuff to the sky as the trap, you know, just some roots and mud crap, but I mean, this ain't rocket science. Looks like there's some mud there. So there's probably more beaver in here. Probably more beaver in here, you guys. leaves on here like so nothing crazy I just don't like the corners sticking out like that all right you guys this trap is reset step over it don't step into your 330s that hurts um yeah I'll pull a little mud up here like so I did before Here, it's my my bait stick is gone, you guys. With had the bearded man on it. Some bearded man on the old stick here. Shove it in the bottom. There we go. That is ready to take a beaver, you guys. Ready to take a beaver. Kind of this middle set of mine still hasn't produced a beaver yet, you guys. No. Well, that middle 330 still hasn't caught a beaver. I think it's almost like the beavers are swimming the edges of the pond and they're coming in from the right or the left, okay? And they're getting caught in the sets on both on either side before they even make it to my middle 330 you guys this one here ooh uh-huh some taco right there you guys giant lump lumposaurus rex boys right there big beaver you guys oh big beaver looks like well it's not a baby Ain't a baby, that's for show. That's a nice blanket. Huh, well, let's do it. Another big beaver, you guys. Huh, another big beaver. Take this stuff out of the way. That's a big, oh, that's a big beaver, you guys. Big beaver, oof -da. big blanket. Snorted. Ah, big blanket. Hoof da. Big beaver. Right there, boys. Big beaver. Okay. It's one spring. It's a huge beaver, actually. Man. Oh my gosh, you guys, that's big, big beaver, huge beaver, oh, look at that. Oh, 
Wow. That was a big beaver, you guys. It was, is a big beaver. Here's my bait stick. mud on my camera. There you go. You guys always see me doing this pretty fast. You know, it probably looks like I'm borderline destroying the 330 around. But I'm I'm really doing this fast, but I'm keeping my personal space. I mean if this trap fires, it's not gonna fire on me anywhere it'll maybe it'll maybe make me jump put my pants a little bit or something but nothing's really gonna happen to me okay I'm just gonna get this guy back there we go we've taken three big beaver out of this one set so far oh, perfect you guys and then like this is such a big this is kind of a big opening you guys and we're trying to not make it look like, hey, you guys, you know, the beaver don't come in here. We just want them to look, come up here and go, oh, this is probably the fastest way to get caught in a 330. That's what I want them to think when they get up here. You know? Here we go. That stuff out of the way. A little more mud and crud and whatever else you want to call it over it to disguise the trap a little bit. Some rice from over here. There you guys go. Fastest way into the 330. Right through there. Some of the bearded man again. I'm just gonna put it on the end of this stick here, right behind the 330. I want them to come up. I want them to smell it and go, huh? I like it. Here we go. Two more beaver out of this place. That's a total of 11 beaver out of here, you guys. Hey guys, that is 11 beaver out of this place now, and that one beaver was probably a 60 pounder. I I'm going to try to weigh him, I think. But it was heavy, heavy. If it doesn't break 60, it is darn close. Very, very close. Anyway, we'll be back in a couple days to recheck these traps. And, uh, well, see if we can pull some more. Yo, we are back, you guys. Need I say, at Beaver Lake. The gentleman just told me that this lake is actually called Beaver Lake. So it is totally making sense. Um, I haven't, I didn't check these traps. I think that there's, I'm not going to check much. It's, I don't, I don't really think there's nothing going to be in those traps. I think I drained the beaver from the beaver slough. But, I'm going to do a little looky-loo over here. Now, yesterday we had a double on these beavers. And today we'll definitely at least have a single, you guys. It looks like another pretty good sized beaver, too, maybe, or maybe it's a small one. I don't know. I gotta switch to the GoPro, though. down here you guys I'm just looking I mean it almost looks like another beaver's been up here slapping some mud on this thing that looks like a big beaver if it is that's, be that's big beaver it is it's a big beaver you guys that's six big beaver it's a gosh it's a really big beaver look at the tail on that thing holy bananas look at that you guys oh my gosh it's a huge beaver beaver lake is literally living up to its name. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, this thing's a monster. Just caught low and it was like 60 pounds yesterday. I might even grab my scale out of my boat today and try and weigh some of these. I, I still have those other ones. <laughs> Oof, duh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Gosh, this one's big, but it's got a big tail, too, you guys. Look at how good this set is working. I, it's ridiculous, you guys. Sorry, I'm just trying to get this thing situated so I can... There we go. Actually, we'll get over here for you guys. But, gosh, that's a big tail. That's a big, big beaver. Oh my gosh. That's another huge blanket, you guys. Oh, duh. Look at the size of that monster. Holy crap, you guys. Another giant beaver out of this slew. I kind of wanted to say, like, when is it ever going to stop? You know? I was going to do a two day check on this place. But since it, the water has thawed out, you know, I just thought, you know what? We'll put some fresh beaver lure on it and see what we can do. All right, you guys. That's it. I'm going to put some bearded man on the thing back there again. And we're just going to come back and keep on pulling big beaver out of this nuisance job. Insane. All right. There's our giant beaver, <laughs> you guys. Oh! What a cardiac arrest carrying these guys out. Uh. Oh my gosh, that's a big beaver. Big tail. All right, you guys. No trap is sprung. It's kind of sad. Could have been a rat, could have been a beaver, who knows. Far trap down here is sprung, it looks like. But I see a lump of fur sitting there. Doesn't look very big. Definitely a beaver, small beaver. Small beaver. That's good. Get him out of here. That's the plan, Stan. Too many of them causing too much trouble. Damage is bad, real bad. You guys are really, I mean, there can't be many left, be, been many beaver left in here, if any at all. I mean, this is insane. Well, you guys, that's a total of 13 beaver so far out of this spot, out of Beaver Lake. Crazy, six big beaver, two small beaver out of this side, four small beaver, one big beaver out of the other side. I, with this trail going in between, I think I mentioned this before, but that big beaver had to have been in this pond because those traps are unsprung totally, nothing over there. We did have a sprung trap here today though. It's unfortunate, could have been a muskrat, who knows? Cause there was a muskrat pad or a toilet right next to it. Anyway, there we go giant beaver right there and a little beaver right there you guys look at the tail on this thing i might have to measure it that thing's big 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 huge even you guys yeah well, hopefully we get some more on the next checks I was angry.